is good the, the skin is good for that and so we understand that uh, we need to check up is this edible will this help me and uh, improve on my health if i eat it or is there another use i put to it very very important we're looking at number three number three we're looking at the reason for not consuming some things as new creatures in Christ. We're looking at uh, second, uh, First Peter chapter 2 and we're reading from verse 9. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9, but here a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him that has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. The reason why God has not allowed us to do uh, to eat this and eat that and all that is not um, you know because uh, he didn't know when he was creating them he knew but he says we're a peculiar generation we're a holy nation now let me bring in this in the world in which we live now more than six thousand years have gone since creation and apart from animal and all that uh, there are things that have happened in those uh, 6,000 years till today number one there is air pollution and because of the air pollution because of all these industries and everything uh, uh, there are things now uh, they will say you will you must not cut down the trees you must preserve the forest deforestation that is cutting down and making allowance for people to live will endanger the purity of the air we breathe. And so, all those, it's not religion now, it is the fact that for these thousands, thousands of years, the air has been polluted by all those industries. Those things were not there at that time. Number two, the seas now where uh, the fishes are, the fish of a different species which is what they are, there is uh, what is called mercury. That, and those, uh, there are some fish that uh, they, are, they are infected by those, uh, the, the mercury. And when human beings consume the fish or the mercury, you'll not see them. They're just in the system. It's very dangerous for the body. That's the reason why you'll be selective. Because God wishes and God wants wants that your being health in perfect health as your soul prospers. The telephone we use, the telephone we use uh, as, uh, you know, the waves and all that. And when you put that on yourself, you know, sometimes you are sitting down and you always put the phone on your lap. Or you put it when you are, when you are sleeping, you have used the phone and you put it on your chest. Or you even put it near you when you are sleeping. The, the waves that come from those telephones they can be dangerous to your body. And so it's not just, uh, it is not religion, it's for our health. And if you're using the computer and you glue your eyes on the computer every time, they tell us that it affects your eyesight. And because of that, if you're wearing glasses, uh, you know, the optician will ask you whether you use computers often or not. And if you say you do, they say, okay, we can put something and anti-glare. They can put it on the glasses so that the television, the, the, uh, the tablets, and everything on the computer will not affect your eyesight too much. Sometimes they can even put a shade there. That's to protect us. You see, all these things we need to take care of. What will endanger my health? What will hinder my you know, being myself completely? That the reason why a Christian, a believer should understand all those days, 